Vinny, it looked like you had a, a first step on, on Rosgall on that. Is that something you kind of saw from the beginning of a little bit? Uh, you know, we talk about getting downhill and making plays for teammates. Um, usually those guys stay in the gap a lot longer. Denver usually does. And um, tonight their gaps weren't as great um, as they usually are. And so uh, I saw that and I took advantage of it. You did that hard double on Dang right away, open stuff up for you guys. Yeah, it really, really helped. A lot because uh, my guy's going off on Dang, so I was wide open. So just confident, stroke it and stuff like that, Coach was telling us. So fell tonight, and that's good. Man, did you just knock knees late there? You had a little bit of a limp. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. His uh, his the the front of his knee hit the inside of my knee, so it was just a little, a lot. <laughs> Vinny, uh, the second half against Denver, the last game wasn't so good. Um, any thoughts on that heading into this second half? Uh, you know, we just tried to grow. Um, once again, uh, we had the lead at halftime, like we did over at their place, um, and it started to look like it did in the second half a little bit at the beginning, but um, as you can see, we've grown a little bit um, as far as mental toughness. And uh, we didn't let their run get to us tonight. You guys played a lot of that lineup without Rocky and without Dang? A little bit for his UND here. But ever since then, we haven't really gone to it. But, you know, we're, our guys, we're so versatile. We can play big with Dang and Rocky. We can play with one of them. We can play with none of them. It's kind of whoever's hot that night, whatever works for the matchup, that's what we go with. Terry, you feel like the rotation's spot on right now in the last you know, week or two? Uh, yeah, it's getting, we're getting in the rhythm, you know, it's kind of getting to tournament time. So we got to get in the rhythm, you know, getting people shots and uh, you know, just playing as a team, playing hard and playing defense against stops is what we do. So try to do that as much as we can. Vinny Denver's last in the NCAA and three, uh, three to allow make per game. How big was it for you guys to take advantage of that today? Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, but it's good, you know. Uh, it's, it's great to see those guys get the first couple to go in and it just gives confidence to the rest of us to shoot them. Um, as long as those guys got their feet set and they feel comfortable, they always should let them rip, and they did that tonight. Any 83 points these last four games, what's really been attributing to your success these last four games? Uh, my teammates. My teammates are doing a good job of finding me in situations of where I'm comfortable, um, and they keep giving me confidence, and, and so I give it all to my teammates. Any 39 minutes for Sam, how impressive is that out of a true freshman to basically not come off the floor? That's amazing. Um, Sam's, Sam's come a long way, and... Um, you guys haven't even seen Sam Peak yet, which is crazy. He's going to get better and better and better um, as his time comes on at uh, NDSU. Obviously, yeah, I'm extremely proud of our guys. I think we continue to attack the process and, and continue to uh, validate as we talk about our successes. And, you know, to be honest with you, from a coaching perspective, I don't think it could be any better from a standpoint of the big thing that I'm continuing to harp on these guys right now is about staying focused and creating separation. And uh, we didn't do a terrific job of that tonight, uh, but these guys are playing with such a confidence and swagger right now and finding ways down the stretch. They're not getting rattled. You go back to this game at Denver, you know, we're up six and a half, come score out of the gate, we're up eight, and then just proceeded to just, you know, let it roll down the other way. And, and there, there's where we've grown so much from a poise standpoint. And, you know, when you've got a point guard like Vinny, like he's playing, and you got multiple, you know, Cam didn't, you know, he gets a couple fouls in the first half. Not really got into rhythm, but um, when you got a couple point guards, it makes a big difference down the stretch. These last four games, Vinny's really kind of emerged as one of the top players on the team. What has attributed his success these last four games? I think if you just follow Vinny's journey here, it's exactly, it, there's just steps for Vinny. When he first got into campus, he got a couple assistants going, geez, how, how good is he? And then you start to see it. Oh, you know, he's pretty good. And you go into non-conference and he struggled right away. And then going right before Christmas break, he was playing really well. And then you get in the league, just different steps along the way. And he struggled for the first half of the league. And then you come go back to that Oral Roberts game and he saw the ball go in the hole. And just ever since then, he's playing playing great. He's playing like we, we ask him to do. He's getting downhill. He's getting to the free throw line. Um, and it, it's really fun and encouraging to watch as, as you, as, as a coach, as you talk about embracing the journey and attacking the process. Vinny Shahid has done that. Adjustment that was maybe five, six minutes left to go without a big, in, in a traditional sense. What kind of precipitated that move? Well, we've been in such a rhythm, and Dang's been so good offensively. He got in fouls, and Rocky was starting to get a little winded as we weren't going back with Dang. And so that that small lineup's been good. You know, we, we've got some versatility with it. You've got you still got some toughness. You know, what you might lack in some size, you, you gain in some, not gain, but you you don't lose anything from a toughness standpoint. And when you play that way, you know, you get hard to guard as well off the bounce. And for the most part, you know, that lineup was pretty successful.
a guy that you obviously have to neutralize with Denver. You know, you guys only gave up seven points on, I think, 30% shooting for him. How did you guys do that? What was kind of your game plan? Yeah, we, we did change some things on how we guarded him a little bit, and, and we're a little bit more intent, I guess, a little bit more urgent with some, some different things. And I'm not going to divulge everything, but from a you know, that, and I told him afterwards as a senior, and, you know, maybe we face him in the tournament or whatever, but, you know, I think the world of that kid, the, you know, that kid's been fun to watch, you know, um, grow up and compete in, in, in the league. And if we're all paying attention, that kid epitomizes what the Summit League's about, you know, a junior, senior, you know, having success. And, and Joe Rosga is a heck of a player and a great kid. How good was it, was it to see Tyree step up today after maybe not his best game of the year uh, on Wednesday? Yeah, and again, I think, <laughs> I think that's the beauty of us right now. You know, at UND, he plays nine minutes. Um, today, he plays 27, and Dang plays 11. And different guys step up in different roles. And uh, we felt all along that depth and versatility as we gain some experience could be an asset for us. And, and it's, it's proven, it, proven its case here uh, down the stretch. So then how rare is it to have a kid like Sam be a true freshman and be a guy that you basically don't take out the floor? Yeah, I didn't even realize that. He played 39 minutes. And um, again, you know, no excuses, but I felt that that was a big part of some of our struggles. You know, we, we had high expectations and we were able to sign Sam and he validated those when he got on the campus, just the way he handles himself. Um, he's even done some things better than I anticipated off the court. You know, been more invested in the weight room and in his diet and those things. Um, and he just makes, you know, for the most part, basketball winning plays. There's not, you know, it's not like he just blows you away from a box score standpoint, but uh, you trust him, you understand what he can give you, and, and his versatility to do a lot of things defensively, you know, really helps us. You touched on it at the beginning, but uh, with the versatility, is this team peaking at the right time? Well, we're playing well. I wouldn't say we've, you know, peaked when you, you know, uh, have an opportunity to kind of, um, you know, I don't know what the phrase is, knock somebody out or whatever. You know, we weren't able to do that tonight. And, th and that's where we've got room to grow. Um, uh, and, you know, and we've we took care of some business, you know, and, and now it gets continues to get tougher. You know, or Roberts is going to come in here. What, you know, what we're able to do with their place, they're going to be teed up. And, and, and then you get into a, a heavy gauntlet with, the, you know, South Dakota State, number one, Omaha, number two. You know, um, I'm probably, you know, skipping somebody. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's so important for us to understand the preparation part. Um, and, and that's my job to, to get them hammered in on that. You've been, like, talk, well, sorry, you've been talking all season about the process this far into, into league play. Where do you feel like that process is? Are you pleased with the results? Oh, extremely. But I got asked the question the other day: Are are, are your guys comfortable? Or are you comfortable? And you know, we better not be. It, you know, we can we can check our contentment. We can check our uh, comfortability on March 13th. You know, that's what we're stressing to our guys. And I think right now for me, there's. In a, in a sense, it's there's some comfort in being uncomfortable. You know, when you're uncomfortable and and you're you're really focused and you're hammering all the little details. You know, there, that's a big part of the process. And then, and I know that's where I'm at right now. I think this is a talented group. There's great depth and versatility, uh, but our margin for error just with some things, especially you know with the, the talent that we have coming against us in the future, uh, is pretty slim. And that's why we need to stay focused.